I want to take one second and show you a little bit of maintenance on the emitters. After about two or three weeks, uh, you're going to start noticing calcium and any type of other chemicals that are in your water build up on your emitters. And these are two titanium screens. I don't know if you can hear that, but they're basically coated with iridium on the inside. We don't want you to brush or try to clean this off with a brush. There's a real simple method, and this is going to make these last for a long, long time if you do simple maintenance. So what we have here is uh, three different ways you can do this. This is uh, if you've got a dollar store somewhere in your area or at your local grocery store, this is the works toilet bowl cleaner. I'm going to do a demonstration here in a glass jar, but typically you're going to be using a coffee can or something in your garage. Uh, or, uh, but I do want to uh, tell you that you need to cover this up once you use it, and it's savable um, and reusable. This here is called Acid Magic, same thing. All these have some type of acid, muriatic acid. You can dilute this down 50-50 and do the same thing. It really looks bad, but you're gonna see here in one second how easily this will clean this calcium off and these will run very efficient. Looks like an Alka-Seltzer in there and it will clean that up in seconds. As soon as it quits bubbling, it's probably clean. Now this one here I think was running for probably a month without bidding, being cleaned, so I wanted it to look really bad and it's just about there. The reason why the toilet bowl cleaner works, sulfuric acid, all this stuff is just basically a calcium buildup that's in your water, that's the hardness in your water and we want to get that off and it's just going to make these work a lot more efficient. As you can see that's pretty much cleaned up. And that thing looks good. It's good as new. And I'll try another one here. If you got a bigger emitter, getting this one out. This is off the 2040. Same thing. You got quite a bit of calcium buildup there. And it's going to do the same thing. It's just going to sizzle and be gone. This one here is now clean. And all you do with these is just dunk them in some water and you're good to go. Nobody likes doing maintenance but I think it uh, you got a lot of invested in your crops in your project, your gardens, and you want to be running as efficiently as you can. And this is a no scrubbing, kills everything. And there you are, just like new. Okay? Just rinse that off good, and you're good to go. It's not going to hurt anything.